Did you know that ChatGPT is pretty sweet when it comes to tables? I'm gonna show you four different ways to make your data look sweet. We're gonna start with a picture, as you can see here, of a table, and then convert it over to something like this that's actually usable into Excel. And we're also gonna take data like this and turn it into a table that looks sweet, just like this, that's usable and editable as well. Have you ever been working and found a table that was just awesome, but you weren't able to use it in your document, your Word document or Excel document, or you found an actual image of a table and you can't use it and you copy it and you try to go into, let's say Excel, when you paste it, it's just an image. Same thing goes with Word and you paste it, it's just gonna be an image. You can't really edit the data, you're kind of stuck. What you can do then is go into ChatGPT, which is pretty much an interesting tool for tables. It's pretty slick for it. We can say this is a table and we'll just paste it in. And ChatGPT will look at all the data in the table. It'll do object character recognition and shoot it out kind of in a format like this. Sometimes it does it differently, but in this case, it's just shooting out the data one through eight. And we can say, you know, turn this into a table if we need to. And it'll actually then essentially put the data in the same format that we're expecting, which is pretty slick. And you can also say, turn into a CSV for download if you need. So yeah, so we can click it here and download it. If we want to, then obviously you could take the data, use it here, and you just, the value there is you're getting the object character recognition. If you want it in this format, it's even nicer. You can go here, or just highlight it, hit copy. We'll go back into Word. We can uh, paste it fresh. You can actually work on it in here if you need to, you know, make an edit, you know, whatever way you want to do. And that's pretty slick. You can also then go into Excel and the value for Excel is that now it knows that those are columns and rows. So you can fix this up the way you'd like and you can edit and you're good to go. If you do the CSV method, you'll see the same thing when you open it up from your computer, but these fields will just all be generic text and there won't be any formatting you can do, but it, when you paste it in here, you can modify it just like you would in Excel. So really powerful with that. And the next thing I'm gonna show you is even better than that. So once we got the tables, we know that that was functioning properly. We got a picture, no problem. But if you look here, this is an example from a year ago, just kind of one thing that popped up here in Reddit. You'll notice that uh, this is poorly formatted. The person that posted here would like it to be, you know, in the format of author in a column, subject, title, etc. you know, for the rest of the columns. But this is, you know, example from Excel. So, and if you look, I mean, they go through a lot of stuff to help them out to get this data the way it goes. It's just way too much work, but we don't have to do that now which means that our, our, we live in a really powerful time. So we'll right click here, we'll hit copy image, then we'll go back to ChatGPT and we'll say, this is a table and we're gonna paste it in and press enter. And so it's gonna do some analysis and I think it's gonna more than likely not like the way that it's set up. And it actually is going to go ahead and convert it into the CSV format for us automatically. And if you notice, it'll, it'll show us here the author, subject title, publication year, the ISBN for the book, etc., and all these you know other fields that were part of it. And look how easy that was just from one little chunk of that. So imagine how powerful that is that you could just take all the data, copy it, and paste it right in. Pretty slick stuff. So we could take this copy that and we'll go back to Excel and we'll hit paste. And then if we want to, we can just delete this column one and you're good to go. So now it took all that data in that crazy format that was input inputted there and allows us to go ahead and fix the uh, columns up. Yep. And then we can go ahead and fix that all the different fields as you need to. And then you're good to go. Really, really powerful stuff. So we're able to get the images sent into a table and then we can go ahead and take you know, other data that's even in the wrong format and put it into a table, really powerful things. Lastly, we'll go ahead and quickly make a document to show you where, let's just pretend that somebody typed it out in an email in a hurry or they uh, went ahead and just had a lot of data. 
we'll start it off you know to get some data here we're going to capture let's just say a bunch of youtube channel names and i'm going to paste that directly into a sheet we're going to just pretend that this is data points we're going to say you know 52 i'll go ahead and fill this all in okay and then that let's just say that it's uh you know channel data one data two and then we're going to go ahead and type in some more numbers so let's say you get this uh, there's a lot of times we're working on the computer system and it just shoots out uh, stuff like this and we don't know um, you know how to fix that up a little bit and without going and even just doing that was exhausting but a lot of data will come like that go ahead and then i'll take that data and i'll test it now inside of excel to see how functional that is and so if i paste it here you'll notice it looks like trash now there's ways to d data manipulate it based on spaces and different things but if you want to look for the easy way to do it we'll just go ahead in here and we'll say uh, fix this table up I'll paste it and then you'll notice it's smart enough to detect the three columns and it'll fix all the rows in there and it's just really powerful stuff there yeah that's how sweet that is so in here we have um, all that oh and it's formatted here too so that's great interesting you can even see the analysis that it's doing on the table so then in here we now can capture this right click copy go back into excel go to a new sheet paste it in and there's that data and it's looking excellent and you always have the option to have chat gpt just make the table for you all together so we'll go ahead and start here and you might be able to manipulate the list a little bit here too We'll see in a second. It's very nice here. It looks like it made category name of the channel, a little description, and then the number of subscribers. And we'll see what it does here. Ah, I like that. It says uh, Tech Extra out here has 500,000 subscribers. I'll take it if I'm in the same list. So looking pretty good. You can also get it to actually create some charts for you, which are pretty cool. So you can see something like this and manage a lot of different uh, parts of it. On top of that, you can do all these type of different charts. So we could try to say uh, to create a pie chart. Oh, pretty cool that it'll do that. Hope this video helped. Please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thanks.